YouTube, welcome back. Thank you for joining me. Check out this amazing camo. I finally unlocked the Mercury camo for the FGX Horus, and it is time to give this bad boy a go in game. So let's go. All right, now the first thing I'm gonna do is scorch her on into tier three, and I'm gonna try to get a triangle done. I've been doing these a little bit more often than I typically do here on the channel. And mostly because I've just had a lot of episodes that I've wanted to film here and I kind of need the tools. So we've been trying to hit these triangles as best we can. So let's go ahead and get Scorcher on over there. Let's have a quick word from this video's paid sponsor, Messy Modding. They're a Call of Duty service company. They get one in a lot of camos for you, including Interstellar and Borealis. They have pre-made accounts, nuke services, schematics, and more tons of reviews on Trustpilot. Use code COOL to save 5% use the link in the description down below let's get down here let's get these bad boys shot there's two and three and we got that now i want to hit the pack-a-punch machine super duper quick here so that we can keep this awesome mercury camo that we worked so hard for we should have plenty of time here to get over here slap this pack-a-punch and get right back into action and not lose that triangle not sure exactly how much time you have before that thing goes away, but I'm pretty sure we have enough time. Maybe if we can melee it. There we go. Let's go ahead and throw on the legendary tool and flawless crystal that we brought with us. There are people scorching all through this tier three zone right now. So many people in here. So this is going to be actually, I guess there's not that many. I guess they all just had scorchers. I saw them all flying around at one time. Just kind of assumed that there were a whole crap ton of them coming into match here. YouTube timeout. I have a very important shout out to make right now to Toxic Rebel. He's a brand new member to the channel, but not just any member. This man joined at the goaded super fan level, which if you don't know, that is our highest level of membership that we offer. So Toxic, thank you so much for your support of me and my channel and my content. From the bottom of my heart, man, thank you so much. You truly are a fucking legend, my man. I thank you don't feel like enough, but thank you. Let's all make sure we drop a comment down below for Toxic Rebel, the goaded super fan, and let's all show some love and support for this man. So thank you again, Toxic. All right, back to the gameplay. We brought with us golden plates, speed cola, and maybe speed cola. Oh, geez. Geez, no, 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 no. Oh my gosh. Um, completely got ourselves in trouble right there. And this guy over here is kind of messing us up here because I don't think his kills count for us. So I, I think he's kind of screwing us over here a little bit, and I think he probably knows it. Oh, never mind. Maybe it does count because sweet. We got it. Awesome. All right. So maybe, maybe I was wrong there. Maybe I should have been a little easier on him. Let's go ahead and toss in our dog bone here. And before we take off, let's put in our Juggernaug as well. And we're going to head on off. It is time to do a Warlord. So let's find ourselves a camp somewhere. There is one right there. So we'll head on there and we will grab ourselves a key card. Actually, it's Dokubi. So we don't need a key card. We can just do a quick contract, which there is a tier two bounty contract right here. That'll get us a self revive. And then we will head on up to Dokubi from there. All right. Now, while we head over here to this mimic, if you're enjoying the content on this channel, please consider dropping a like on this video. Leave a comment down below. Leave it just your favorite emoji, anything for the sake of engagement. Those two things really do help push these videos forward to a wider audience and help me to continue to grow. We're almost to 5,000 subs and that's all your support is appreciated. So yeah, smash those like buttons. It is very appreciated. So let's get on over and get up to Dokubi's tower. All right, let's get landed up top here. Take out this sentry gun. Perfect. Oh no, don't, don't jump up. Bullwhip. Don't jump up. We already got some people here at the tower with us. So um, that should make it a little bit easier to find in kill this woman she is right on over here so let's go ahead and oh no oh cool whip buddy <laughs> oh we fell off the edge all right this should get us high enough to get back up there there we go there we go we're back to the top now we gotta find her again um where did she go oh dokubi oh dokubi oh where did you go and those sentry guns can be really annoying when they're with the mercenaries 
But meanwhile, I put down a sentry gun and nothing seems to happen. Let's see if we can avoid that helicopter right there. And okay, I cannot jump over that window. So that's super frustrating. So let's head on back. Oh, she's flying away already. Already, you say? All right, back to the other side. All right, we will try to hit her with the scorcher this time. Oh, she's dead. They got her. Sweet. Good job, guys. I contributed very little to this fight, but I was here first, I think. Uh, VR 11. Don't want it. Moving on. All right, let's get this PND activated and use this FJX with this beautiful Mercury camo to take out all of these zombies. Oh, isn't that? Oh, that's so pretty. One of my favorite camos. I absolutely love this camo. It's not over the top. It's not super bright. It's not really in your face here. Look at me kind of a camo. Just a very subtle, really good Call of Duty camo. And I absolutely love it. I love the color shift, everything. It is beautiful. Well worth the effort. Now, unfortunately, it comes so late in the game's life cycle. And we got another one that's going to come with season six. And these guns aren't going to carry over. So what? I mean, if you're a real completionist and you want to like really grind out all of these camos, hey, more power to you. Um, you are way more dedicated than I am, my friend, but uh, I kind of wish this cool stuff would come a little bit earlier in the game. I know I talked about it in some other videos that I've made here recently, how all the really cool store items all come at the very end of the game, season five, season six. And I mean, I get it. They want to get you spending a little bit of money toward the end of the game's life cycle. You know, just the same as they want in the beginning. But man, just give me some cool stuff in the beginning. I'll probably spend more money. All right. We did not have to kill that many zombies here for this outlast. That was that was a pretty chill contract for us. I think our doggo did most of the work for us. Let's see if we can get down to this bounty contract. Now, one of my favorite places to loot is the second and third floor up here in this building. I don't have any death perception right now, so we're just going to have to kind of run around. Look at that. We got some stamina up there. Sweet uh, monkey bomb. We would definitely take that. There are always several crates usually up around in this building. And if you want to get onto the second level, the easiest way to do that is just to climb right up over here. And that'll get you up onto the second level. Numerous times I've been able to find legendary ether tools and flawless crystals and whatnot in with crates inside of this building. I'm not really hearing any, so... Um, this is not really the game for that, I guess, but whatever. We're going to head on over to the mimic. Take that bad boy out. Uh, oh, no. Oh, wow. That was a, that was a long throw there. Thanks, Brett Favre. Uh, stuck in a reload. I really do wish you had the ability to sprint while reloading in Modern Warfare Zombies. Because, man, you get a zombie on you and it's time to reload. You are in trouble. Wow, look at that throw. Holy moly. Dunkerai with the arm of a lifetime there we go we got him finished no more throwing us around like a rag doll no sir all right we got ourselves another mimic i wonder if this guy can throw us as far as the last guy could well you know he's got his spitball attack in full gear right there he's gonna come at me with it again maybe no he tried you got short little Short little stubby arms, huh? You're you're a stubby little guy, is you? Oh, you poor thing. That's okay. It's not about length. There you go. Good job. All right, cool whip. Let's go, buddy. Anything on the map? No, there's nothing on the map. How about an infested stronghold? I don't mind if I do. And there we go. Just like that, it is complete. Is there? There's really nothing in that crate. I'm gonna give it. We'll come back to that one. We'll see if. Wait, what in the? What is going on here? Um. Okay. Something is happening. Okay. Something is just not right about these crates. There's. There's nothing in them. What in? What in the? What? You're kidding me, right? Is there like a glitch with these strongholds that you can just open the crates in them without doing the stronghold again? Did somebody come by? and just loot it without doing the stronghold. I mean, let's see if we can at the other one here. I don't know, maybe it's the same as it is with the dark ether and we just never realized that and it's just been a glitch the whole time. Maybe, who knows, We're about to find out. I mean, these doors are already open. Um, you can indeed. Um, wow, what a, what an unfortunate glitch that is in the game. I mean, it's one thing when it happened in the dark ether, but man, it is a whole nother when it's in game like this. All right, let's get down here, get this cargo delivery. So now the reason that I'm okay with it being 
unlike where you could go in the dark ether and you can unlock them in there because that affects nobody else. It's just my, you know, I'm in there by myself. Even if you're in there with a squad, it affects nobody else but your team or just you yourself personally if you're playing in there solo. Whenever a glitch like that exists inside of this map, you know, it affects everybody playing the game. And I think that's really unfortunate that that is a thing. And what's also unfortunate is we have another bounty mimic here. Like, can we get any other bounty besides a mimic right now? Pop a reload here real quick. Get that dog off of us. And we almost got him gone. We might get him here. There we go. Let's go. No. I always run out of ammo when I'm one shot from killing him. It's like a requirement. Let's put on that dead wire. Oh, hey, hey, fellas. Hey, fellas. It's okay. Everything's okay. Daddy won't hurt you. There you go. Oh, finally, we got something different. We got a mega abomination. Nice. I'll take that. It's in the worst possible place, though. Oh, man, I hate fighting the megas here. Um, We could probably just get on top of a roof over here and probably get the job done that way. I don't know if this roof is close enough. Will we aggro him from here? Uh, Doesn't look like we're close enough. We're going to have to get a little bit closer. Okay, get a little bit closer than that. There you go. Hello, buddy. How are you? Thank you. All right, let's see how quickly we can get up here. Hopefully before he charges his head all the way into this building. Nope, there he goes. He's going to do it. Oh, did that hurt? You got a headache? Got a headache, little guy? Oh, boy. Oh, no. We got to get ourselves out of this mess. Oh, I hate life without mag of holding. I despise reloading. It's so much easier when you don't have to reload. Hey, buddy, you want to laser me up here, pal? Or do you uh, you just want to sit down there and chill? Don't hide, don't hide that eye from me. All right, we'll just we'll just do the damage from here. That's fine. If you don't want a laser, Um, that's probably okay. There you go. Two heads gone. How much ammo do we... We have left oh we got plenty you know what? this is a good time i'll go ahead and throw the build up on screen that i'm using for this fjx because i didn't show that to you guys so oh let me come on buddy we're almost there almost there and laser attack and that should finish him right there beautiful job cool whip you deserve a gold medal for that look at that another monkey bomb we are getting lucky with the monkey bombs now we did bring in an elder sigil i do want to visit the season one elder sigil in this one um try to get another scorcher or two would be awesome to get um just to have in our stash for future videos and especially with season five reloaded coming we are going to want to be stocked up as much as we can be especially with scorchers because we're gonna have to get around the map and we're gonna have to do all the various easter eggy type of things so yeah we're gonna need some scorchers so we're good to season one We'll just do two of the... Oh, no. No, the bounty spawned up there right as soon as I left that area. All right, can I get back up there? I think we can. No. No. Darn it. That guy came in hot. All right, I guess we can get this contract. Oh, oops. All right, we burned a self-revive there. Um, It happens. I thought I was a little closer to the ground than I was, but oh, well. Let's go ahead and get this one done, and then I think we'll probably head to the dark ether from here i mean we have six monkey bombs but i do not have i'm just gonna get rid of two of those because i, I don't need all those monkey bombs i'd rather have casimirs than monkey bombs any day when i'm going into that season one unless i'm doing the escort contract um much rather have the casimir devices than have a monkey bomb so we'll probably just end up getting rid of those i wish we were getting that lucky with casimirs but nonetheless that's fine we'll keep a couple of them just simply because they're free and they can help out during the outlast contract but we need a little bit of inventory space here to do this i wouldn't mind seeing just a couple backpack slots that are dedicated to these inhibitors um whenever you're doing this contract these contracts here would be pretty nice to have give me just six extra slots to carry these things because especially late in the game these contract these spore controls become a little bit inaccessible Whenever you have an entire rucksack full of items, go ahead and drop that energy mine right there. All right, we're gonna head off over to the Dewanda Fizz and get ourselves the rest of our perks. We're gonna hit the buy station from there. And then we're gonna head on into the season one elder and we'll do two contracts and check all of the locked rooms. Okay, we have, we can buy six Casimirs and that's what we're gonna do. I guess I should have only bought five. That way we would have saved 5,000 essence. Could have gone toward our schematic cooldown time, but 
not a big deal. All right, I will see you inside the season one elder and hopefully we'll get a little bit lucky with some scorchers. Okay, here we go. 15 minutes, two contracts in five locked rooms. And I think we're gonna start out um, by doing all of the locked rooms to start. Sometimes I do like to do it that way. I find it just a little bit easier. At least then I know where I need to go. Well, at least do these two rooms here, I think, to start out. And anything down in here? We got a small box there. We don't want that. Oh, man. Okay, let's go ahead and do a contract, and then we'll, then we'll check some more after that. Holy moly. All right, we need to get a little bit lucky, though, with some Scorcher drops here. I do feel like they've nerfed it. I really do truly feel... Like there has been a nerf to the amount of scorchers that are found inside of this dark ether. All right, little Casimir device there and we'll get this one done. All right, let's do a monkey bomb for this one. We'll attract them up top there, which should keep them out of our way. Beautiful. Just got to get that mangler off of us. And then we will kind of do the same right here. We'll just chuck another monkey bomb right down out here. And we came really close to dying by fall damage again. Um, we're getting really good at that. Let's go ahead and fire a scorcher this way. There we go. Perfect. Good job. Cool whip. Etherblade case. Beautiful. We'll take that. We'll leave the self revive for now. We're going to go down to the bottom here. We're going to check this room. I see nothing in there. And that's, that's really kind of sad, actually. Let's go ahead and equip on probably the monkey bombs. Let's equip the monkey bombs for now. Oh, mega abomination. Oh, buddy. Please don't come up here and bother me in my contract. It's the one thing I don't like about this elder dark ether here is the megas will come bother you during this outlast contract and they get their little hell babies out here. No, the mimic. There's nothing in that room either. Why is there never any wonder weapons? I mean, there was the one wonder weapon, but it's, you know, not what we want. We only want Scorchers. They know we only want Scorchers. They're not giving us Scorchers. All right, let's see if we can get this bad boy thrown out. Perfect. Oh, they still knocked us. Um, okay, I guess we just ignore, we ignore things now. Um, I don't know if our dog was still alive or not. All right, another monkey bomb out. And, and now we'll equip the Casimirs. We should have enough of these. There we go. All right, let's see if we can get rid of this Disciple here real quick. Perfect. Get our next Casimir ready to go. Come on, Cool Whip. There we go. There you go. Get it down. Get it down. Perfect. Good job. We have three more Casimirs. That should get us through this pretty easily. We get this next one ready. And there we go. Now, I've noticed these Casimirs are not working, at least in this Elder Dark Aether as well as they really should be working as you see there's some zombies that are not too far from it that are not getting sucked into it and one more casimir that might do it right there because we have our energy mine that we can use to finish it up 96 97 and there we go energy mine down get the last few of those there we go beautiful dog bone okay that's it we'll take that we're gonna head up check our final room for this one please be something in there do not disappoint me please oh baby i see something oh i see something i see and i see a big long crate i see a big long one ah uh, she likes them long baby all right let's uh let's get right over here there is the key for it right up here boom got it to the officer quarter key that's what you need the keys for. And here we go on the count of three. Everybody hit the like button, comment scorcher down below. Oh, this is, this is a disaster. Hold on. Uh, I'll count to three in just a second. Uh, <laughs> we got it. We got to get by these zombies first. All right, everybody smash that like button. One, two, three, and oh, why didn't, why didn't you hit the like button? That's so disappointing. I'm so disappointed in all of you. No, not really. I love all of you. My name's Cole Whip, and I'm out.